Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a game that is currently on Kickstarter called Unconscious Mind. This game is designed by Yoma, Zax, Laskas, as well as Johnny Pack, and it's published by Fantasia Games, who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, Monique and I are going to be taking on the roles of colleagues of Sigmund Freud back in the early 1900s, trying to treat clients who are suffering from different ailments. That's right. We are psychoanalysts, and uh, we're analyzing our clients' dreams. Mm -hmm. And at the heart of it, it is a crunchy strategy worker play game. Mm -hmm. And so today we're going to be showing you how to play it. And so as per usual, we are going to start with the teach of the game and then go straight into our two-player playthrough. If you are interested in jumping around, we'll include timestamps down below. Now before we begin, we do have to mention this is a prototype copy of the game, which does include both components as well as rules, so things are subject to change in the future. If you are interested in the campaign, there is a link down in the description, which you can check out at your leisure. And lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of Unconscious Mind. Yeah. Welcome to the Wednesday Psychological Society, where we're going to be meeting to discuss the most uh, cutting-edge technologies in psycho uh, analysis. And so just to kind of give you the lay of the land, each player has their own personal player board that represents them mm -hmm. or you as yeah. a psychoanalyst. We each also have our own clientele tile, which houses up to two clients at any given time. We start the game with one client. And over here, we have our insights dial that's going to be housing all of the different resources that we kind of utilize throughout the game in order to treat our clients. Now, like we are mentioning, this is a worker placement game. And so our workers in this game are our ideas. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be placing our ideas onto the meeting board in order to take these actions. And so the way that the game works is players are going to be taking turns, taking actions until the end game trigger has been met. So it's not a set number of rounds. Mm -hmm. And so before we discuss the different types of actions you can take, let's go ahead and take a look at the anatomy of a clientele card. In this game, there are two different types of clients. We have general clients, like this person over here, and general clients, after they are fully healed, give you an ongoing sort of rule-breaking benefit that are usually quite powerful. Mm -hmm. Research clients, on the other hand, will give you end-game scoring points, but both types of clients will also get you in-game points as soon as they are cured. Mm -hmm. Now, each client also has a transparent overlay called their grief layer. And so the hearts on the grief layer combined with the hearts on the card tell you how many therapy points they need in order to be fully cured. Mm -hmm. And so in this example, my client has six hearts, which is going to be their starting point on my, uh, my therapy tracker over here. Yep. Now, at the end of every turn, you'll have the opportunity to treat your clients. And the way in which you go about doing that is by turning in these insight resources in different types of combinations. And so speaking of your resources, each player has their own insight dial. And so in this game, resources are called insights. Yeah. You have three main categories of insights and they are color coded. Yes, there's freedom, passion, as well as growth. Right. And each color has three different levels and they are denoted by the rings. So the outer ring are your uh, major insights. The middle ring are median insights and the inner ring are minor insights. Yep. The different levels are also denoted by different shapes. For example, the outer major insights are all circles and the very, very center ones are all a uh, diamond shaped. When you treat your client, you'll have the option of either using the standard treatment, which is one of each uh, level of insight, doesn't matter the kind. And that'll always give you two therapy hearts. And whenever you treat a client, you're always going to move down the track, the number of hearts listed. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, each client will always start with uh, two dream layers above them. Right. There's the latent dream, which is below, and then the manifest dream, which is always layered on top. And since we're psychoanalysts analyzing their dreams, we can always turn in the combination shown on the dream itself because they usually give you uh, more therapy points as well as additional bonuses. For example, if I wanted to treat my client using this manifest dream card, I would have to turn in these specific resources, which are the purple major, the red median, and the green uh, minor insight. Right. And from doing so, I would gain three therapy points as well as one bonus point. And then this dream layer would get removed, mm -hmm. revealing the latent dream layer, which I can now use in order to treat my patient. Right, even though both are exposed, uh, you're only allowed to treat the top layer first before going into the next layer. Exactly. In addition to the dreams, the grief layer also has some bonuses that you can score. As you can see, this grief layer is going to score me 10 points and give me a major uh, purple insight. Mm -hmm. As soon as my client has reached catharsis, and that basically means as soon as their uh, therapy tracker has reached the number three, level three or lower. 
Once that happens, the grief glare gets removed and then you get to score those points and bonuses. So that is essentially how um, treating clients works in this game. Now, a lot of the gameplay is going to be in trying to figure out how to gain those resources because there's going to be a lot of ways in which you can manipulate your insight dial. Now on your turn, you're either going to place out your ideas onto the meeting board to take mm -hmm. actions or you're going to take a whole action to recall them. Yeah, you'll be resting. Now, when placing ideas onto the board, you're going to place them in a stack of one to three ideas. And that is going to determine how many times you can take the action that you're choosing. Sure. So say, for example, I'd like to take the most basic action, which is this one down here, which basically gets you three of any uh, minor insight, three of the same kind. Right. Each action spot has a certain number of lightning bolts underneath it. And that tells you the maximum number of times you can activate that action. So if I wanted to do this action twice, I would stack up two ideas and I would place it in one of the four action spaces adjacent to it with the tail pointing towards the action. So I could do something like this where the tail is pointing at that action and now I can activate it twice. Now on a future turn, if I were to put out this last idea, I could put it anywhere on the board as long as the tail does not point at that action spot again. Mm -hmm. So you can never take the same action as long as you have another idea that is still pointing at it, if right. that makes sense. Yep. And so just as another example, if I wanted to activate this action, I could not say, uh, put all three of my ideas there because it only has two lightning bolts, mm -hmm. which means it's maximum two times that you can activate it, right? Yep. Now in this game, we also have a resource called a bright idea, which is represented by this light bulb. Mm -hmm. uh, and what you can do here is if Monique wanted to activate this twice, she can spend one of these to represent that second action. Right. Instead of putting out a second uh, idea, right? right? Uh, and then those get spent to the supply. For each of those light bulbs that you have at the end of the game that you did not spend, they're going to be worth a point, mm -hmm. but they're very useful, uh, as you can see. And there's another, another use for them, which we'll talk about later. Yep. So we're just going to do a general overview of the different types of actions you can take, and then we'll go into detail during the playthrough. Sure. One of the main actions that you're going to want to take in this game are gaining these technique tiles. So each player starts the game with one technique tile already on their board, and uh, you sort of... Uh, choose them out of a stack of three that you're given. These technique tiles also determine your starting resources. And so that is why uh, we each already have four resources on our insight dial, as well as our starting location on the map. Technique tiles will be very useful in helping you gain more of these resources, as well as manipulating them to get the specific ones that you need. Gaining them on the board requires you to spend coffee. And so we each start the game with four coffee. You can have maximum six. Coffee is another resource that's going to be extremely important, as mm -hmm. you'll see. The rightmost column requires the most amount of coffee because when you take either of these two tiles, you get the uh, the bonus that's listed in the sidebar, as well as the main action, which you can activate in any order of your choosing. Taking either of the middle technique tiles only gets you the bonus immediately, and then taking either of these two stacks, it's the cheapest, but it doesn't gain you any bonuses. It just gets you the technique tile that you place onto your board. Mm -hmm. The significance of these will be more apparent in a bit, but when you take them, you must place them on a leftmost spot in your uh, three by three grid here. As soon as you complete either a row or a column, then you gain access to another insight token that you place into the middle of your insight dial. You can now use that token as an additional resource because as you'll see, you may uh, run out of these. These are kind of like a limited commodity. They are. And you can use specifically your player colored uh, tokens here to claim certain bonuses on the board, etc. So those are gonna be very, very important uh, in order to win the game. And so those are technique tiles. Mm -hmm. The next type of action we already briefly discussed, and it's just uh, gaining three uh, minor resources of one type. Right. Now, even though it only gets you the lowest ring of resources, this is still really powerful because on your turn, you can spend coffee to manipulate your resources. You can spend two coffee to do what's called an elevation, which basically allows you to take uh, any resource and elevate it to the next higher uh, really? layer. Or you can spend two coffee to transfer, which is basically changing the color of one resource, but keeping it in the same uh, level. When treating your patients, you can always overpay using a higher uh, layer of resource, but it must be the same color. Right. And while we're on the topic of coffee, you can also spend three coffee just to gain a bright idea. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the main ways in which you'll get that. Now, if you don't have coffee, you can always take this action because this action allows you to do two elevations. Mm -hmm. In addition to treating clients and gaining resources, we're also going to be gaining these newspapers. And so we have a deck of newspaper cards over there. 
Anytime you see this symbol, that means you take that many uh, newspaper cards from the top of the deck. There is no hand limit, but every time you draw newspaper cards, you have the option of switching one card from your hand with the one card that's face up. Newspaper cards will gain you an immediate bonus for playing it, but in order to play it, you have to take an action that looks like this. So this action just lets you take them into your hand. The actions with the play symbol allow you to actually play them in front of you. Makes sense. In addition to the immediate benefit when playing the card, some newspapers will also gain you these location symbols, which will be very important for when we activate the map. But in general, newspaper cards are used to create treatises, mm -hmm. which are these tokens over here. They're three different levels and they are divided into a number of points that they gain you. So you're gonna either get six points, 10 or 15 for writing a treatise. Yep. And the requirement in order to write one is listed in the volumes to the right. So if I wanted to write this topmost a six point treatise, I need to have a green and a uh, purple newspaper card in front of me. Right. Then I could take this action with a book symbol to write that. When you write a treatise, you are literally taking your newspapers out of play, so you will no longer have access to those location symbols. But in doing so, treatises also gain you additional location symbols, mm -hmm. which again will make sense in a second. Sure. The last thing about these is when writing them, you can also borrow volumes from other players who have already completed a treatise. For example, if I have completed this using a green and a purple card, sure. I have them tucked underneath. If, say, Naveen were to want to complete this one, but he only has the red newspaper card, he can take the purple one from mine and then complete a treatise that way. Right. For every newspaper card that is borrowed from you, you're going to get two points. Right. But you can never uh, cite your own uh, treatise in order to create one. And now when borrowing these different newspaper articles, you have to take from the outer layer working inwards. So if I wanted the green, but it was covered by a purple, I'm not allowed to do that. Right. And when you're uh, writing these, you can always choose which one you want to write. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to go in that order. Right. Now the last types of actions that you'll see have to do with moving either your professor or Freud around this map. So this is a map of Vienna. There are three different districts. They're separated by color and each district has two different locations. The locations are denoted by symbol. And so whenever you move either your professor or Freud, you're always going to move in a clockwise fashion unless you have some sort of ability that breaks that rule. Taking this action allows you to move your own professor up to two times around the map. You must move at least once or you can move your professor directly to the location where Freud is. And wherever you end up, you get to take the actions of that location. So each location has two different types of actions that you can take and you can activate them up to four times um, per location. But the number of times you actually get to activate the location is dependent on how many of those location symbols you have in front of you. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what I was referring to in terms of the location symbols that you'll find on newspapers, as well as treatises, as well as sometimes on the clients that you treat. For example, my starting client here will gain me two uh, location symbols for specifically this location as soon as they are fully cured. So not quite yet. You also gain one additional location point for your professor and you'll gain one for Freud if Freud is in your location. And that is the number of times that you can actually do the action up to a maximum of four. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially it for that action. This action space is very similar with the exception that you're only moving Freud and you're only moving Freud one space, right. but you still get to take the action at that location, counting all your symbols just the same way. Now, once you're done resolving your action, you can either treat your patients, just like we mentioned earlier, or you can move your inkwell around your player board. And so the number of times you're going to move your inkwell is dependent on where you placed your idea. So had I placed it here, like in our earlier example, you would look towards the end of its row and it tells you how many movements you must move your inkwell. In right. this case, it's three. Mm -hmm. And it always moves in uh, this clockwise order. So if I were to move my inkwell one, two, three spots, I would then get to activate all of the technique tiles in its row, including that uh, starting bonus right there, yep. which gets me a minor uh, red insight. Right. And you get to activate them in any order of your choosing. And so that is why it's really important for you to curate your technique tiles. So at the start of the game, I may want to end up here since that's where my starting technique tile is. Sure. If I ever move my inkwell to this location over here, I would look at the reputation track. I would gain points depending on where my token is, and then I would get to take an action depending on where Freud's marker is, and Freud is in gray. And we'll discuss those actions as we play the game. Sure. Lastly, if I were to move my ink pot to the very top of my board, this will either allow me to unlock my leftmost idea, gaining me more ideas for putting out onto the meeting board, yep. Or as soon as I have at least one of these unlocked, I can, instead of activating a row, I can activate that entire column. But again, it's either moving your inkwell or treating your clients. Mm -hmm. 
at some point in the game, you're going to run out of these ideas because you're going to have them all on the meeting board. And at that point on your turn, instead of placing one out, you can recall them and you must recall all of them. You don't have to wait until all of them are out. Sure. You only have to have one out minimum. And when you recall them, you're first going to gain coffee. And it's one coffee per unique spot that you're on on the meeting board. If I recall right now, it's only going to be one coffee right. for that. Mm -hmm. Then you can either treat your patients or you can take a recall bonus tile from the map. And this is sort of the last bit here. When taking a recall bonus tile, you're going to take the uh, lowest number tile from the district that you're in. And so in this example, because I am in the green district, I would take this token. If it reveals a reputation symbol, which is that uh, metal symbol right there, then I would go up in reputation. Every time you go up in reputation, you always move Freud's marker up first. So Freud will always be ahead of all players. And uh, that's important because Freud's marker is the timing of the game. Right. As soon as Freud's marker gets to the 10 all the way over here, that is going to signal basically the end of the game. End of the game yep. You finish the round uh, so that every player has the same number of turns, and then you play one more turn each, mm -hmm. and that'll end the game. Now, back to this uh, recall bonus. When you take this, you're going to choose to either place it on one of the uh, bonus spots of the location that you're in, as long as they're still available, sure. because these are all one-time use. And then we just take that bonus uh, immediately. Or you can place it in the district uh, scoring track over here. We have a couple of spots blocked off because it's a two-player game. But essentially, the way that that works is you would count up all of your symbols for the entire district. So that means both of the green symbols that you have in front of you on newspapers, treatises, your clients, as well as uh, location bonus tiles, which we'll talk about in a second. Adding one point for your professor and one point for Freud if Freud is in the same district. And then depending on how many symbols you have, you can place this on the track. So if I have seven symbols, I can take seven points and three therapy hearts, which I can use to help treat my clients. When in putting this here though, I have to have one of my own player um, insight markers available because mm -hmm. it has to go up here to signal that it's mine. And that's essentially how it works for all three districts. Now, the last sort of bit here is uh, at the end of your turn, if you meet the requirements of any of these seven location goal tiles, then you can claim it. These are important because each of them gets you a reputation, which again is the timer of the game. It, they also each get you two uh, location symbols for a specific location. And these are going to be things like being the first to complete uh, two columns on your player board or being the first to have two of your own personal uh, insight markers on the map. Yep. So we're going to talk about these more as we play the game. But this is something that we're basically going to be uh, really trying to go for. Yeah, it kind of drives what our uh, goals are in this game. Exactly. As soon as the game ends, we're going to go into end game scoring. The reputation track is a multiplier of sorts. Whoever is furthest ahead on the track is going to get two points for every client they've cured mm -hmm. as well as every treatise they've written. Second place gets one point for each and everybody else does not score any of those bonus points. Um, but you'll also get one point for each bright idea that you have left over. And of course, any of your uh, research clients will get you end game uh, scoring bonuses. Yes, and because you can turn in three coffee for one bright idea, every three coffee is one point. Exactly. At that point, whoever has the most points wins. So I know that was a lot of rules overhead, but we're gonna be discussing all these concepts as we play the game. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna go ahead and get cleaned up and we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, so we've reset the board. We are ready to go. We just need to figure out who's going to be going first. Are there evens? Yes. What do you want? Uh, evens. One, two, three. Okay, Even. It's you. Oh, it's me. You are first today, which means I get an extra coffee. I'll take it. Yeah. So I have five coffee. The bean starts with four, four, but you get the coveted start player token. I do. And that is never going to get passed because right. this is not, uh, there are not a set number of rounds. Right. So you basically just keep on playing until the end game trigger has been met. That's true. So first things first, we do have a couple of uh, setup changes for a two-player game. Namely, we have fewer tokens in the district uh, area here. Right. Two fewer tokens, so it does get us to the reputation um, bonuses faster. Yeah. And we have some blocked off spots in the uh, meeting room. Mm -hmm. And so you can either go with this layout or the other layout, which is uh, across diagonally. We just chose this randomly. Right. And also uh, these scoring locations right here are blocked out in our game. So yeah. a higher player count, you could get in for those little cheapy ones or for the really powerful ones over here. Right. That's true. We also have fewer uh, tiles in here. Mm -hmm. Lastly, we also have these seven location goal tiles. We did not go over them during the teach. And so just so you know, starting the top left, that is for the first person to uh, treat two research two. clients. Yep. The one on the very right, by the way, is the opposite of yep. that, which is three of the general clients. Sure. The one in between them is the first to uh, write two of these treatises. Right. The bottom right are for just curing six patients. Six patients altogether. It doesn't matter what, uh, where they, which deck they come from. Right. 
The one beside that is for the first person to complete two columns. Two columns. The one next to that, I believe, is having two of your uh, your your insight tokens on the district scoring board. So mm -hmm. you're basically scoring two of these. Doesn't right. matter what district they're from. Yep. And this last one right here, this is to have three uh, newspaper articles out of each different color. Yeah, in front of you. So they cannot be in uh, these treatises. Right. They have to be just face up in front of you. Yep. And I think that's it. Yep. So we are ready to begin. Sure. Starting with you, we have our starting resources as well as our first uh, starting clients. Yes. Go ahead. Naveen, okay, so I have some resources here. Uh, I see that I need a little bit of everything over here. So I need yeah. to get to this uh, this bird symbol, mm -hmm. and I need to move these up the track, and I need to get something in this green location. <laughs> uh, so I do like the idea of having more things on my board here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take one idea, and I'm going to move it right into this slot right there. All right. So, so again, I'm pointing towards this action here. Yeah, perfect. So now I can perform this action one time, as uh, pointed out by this lightning bolt symbol here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay two coffee in order to perform this action. And the action allows me to take one of these two technique tiles that's in this particular column mm -hmm. and also get the bonus that is listed on the right side. Yeah, Unlike this nice. one, which gets you the bonus on the left and right. So I'm going to take this tile here, which okay. is going to allow me to take immediately uh, two of these Freedom uh, Minor Insights. So I'm going to go ahead and take them in. Nice. One, two. And then now I'm going to place this onto the leftmost side of one of my boards, and I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. Oh, interesting. You could have chosen to continue this row I could. if you wanted to. I could. But, uh, but I didn't. Yeah, you chose a different no, row. I didn't. Yeah. All right, so this gets automatically refilled. You basically just slide everything. Uh, it, it's a kind of like a river market system, sure. so it just gets moved over. All right. Okay, so now the choice is do I treat mm -hmm. or do I move my inkwell? I do not have the necessary things in order to treat, okay. so I will be moving the inkwell. I place myself in this row that gives me two movements on the inkwell, so one, two. There we go. I just happened to come to my, uh, <laughs> what my, do you know? my technique. So. so the first thing, uh, I can do this in any order now. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I will do is I'll resolve from left to right. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to take this. Yeah. Uh, this Now I have a lot of these. Purple minor. And now I can turn in any two minor to turn it into uh, one um, of these freedom birds over here. The so major purple. Major ones, yeah. So we're going to go with color. We're going to go color. Major, medium, and minor. Yeah. It's probably the easiest thing. It's going to get a little bit uh, tongue tie after yeah. a while. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to turn these two in. And then okay. I'm going to go ahead and make this into a freedom bird. Nice. All right, that's going to wrap up my very first action. All right, very good. So if okay. we go back to me, and uh, for my first action, I think I'm just going to do some stuff with my resources. Okay. So I need a major purple, a median red, and a minor green. I already have that. Okay. So I just need these two to get uh, elevated or upgraded of sorts. Sure. So I think I'm going to take this action twice. So I'm going to stack two of my ideas. Okay. This way, uh, just like that, which means I'm going to be able to activate this action twice. And each activation allows me to elevate uh, a resource twice, essentially, yep. or two different ones once. So you're going to be able to do it four times total. Yes. So the first uh, for the first activation, I'm just going to move this up twice. Okay. So now it is a major uh, purple. And for the second time, I think I'll move this one up once and then this one up once because I can see that in my my latent dream mm -hmm. it wants a major green which yeah. I don't have yet. So you're working towards so, it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, now that I have the resources that I need though, I am not going to move my ink pot. I think I'm going to treat my patient or my client. Sure. So again, you can always choose to either treat them using the default treatment, which is just any one of each type, doesn't matter what color. Right. But I've decided to treat them via their manifest dream, which okay. is the one on top. So this is going to require me to spend my major purple, which I knocked off my board just sure. now, the median red and the minor green. green. And that's go. going to give me a three uh, therapy hearts, which means I get to move this down one, two, three. Because my token landed on that uh, sort of gold heart symbol, that means that my uh, client is now in catharsis. I get to remove the grief layer, scoring mm -hmm. the points for the layer as well. So in total, this is going to get me 10 plus one point for the dream, so oh, 11 okay. points. Okay, pardon my reach. It's very <laughs> far. There we go. Thank you. And then as, as a part of my bonus, I also now get a major purple insight. So... Back. It just gave me just another resource. Back. So on my future turn, if I really wanted that major green, I could spend two coffee to sure. uh, to do a uh, a transfer, essentially. 
Uh, in addition, if my grief layer has a symbol at the upper right hand corner that matches a symbol on my dream, then I would also score an additional point. But because that is not true, that is all that happens. I'm going to go ahead and discard these off to the side. Bye -bye. Now in a future turn, if I wanted to continue treating my client, I do have this latent uh, dream layer, which will get me all the way down mm -hmm. to the cured zero. All right. And I think that's it. So cool. now it goes back to you, Nabeel. Back to me. All right. I definitely want to do some stuff. I want to get these out of this zone here, just okay. kind of like what you did. So I'm actually going to do the exact same thing and stack a couple of these onto uh, this location. Nice. So same thing like Monique did. I'm going to yep. be able to upgrade four total. So I know I have the purple, and mm -hmm. I can see that another purple is needed of me. So I should probably try to get this uh, in order going into the next one. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up... Uh, one, two. Okay. Uh, next one I'm going to move up is going to be uh, this red medium. Okay. And then the last one I'm going to do is move up this purple uh, into that location there. I'm going to use two coffee, though, okay. to transfer this over. So I'm going to spend all my coffee. Uh -oh. <laughs> Not good. And I'm going to transfer this over here so that I can actually use it to um, treat my client. So I have all the things needed here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn in the purple bird. Okay. Uh, the red small flame and the little tree. Nice. So there we go. I got it all. So same kind of thing. We're going to go through the same thing that Monique did. Uh, this is going to get me three of those hearts mm -hmm. and three points. And then so we're going to go one, two, three. We get to remove the grief layer because we passed a symbol. You're in catharsis. I'm in catharsis. So this is going to be 13 points. Okay. Um, plus another three, so 16 what? points total. That Let's was great. Let's go ahead and move that down. Probably a little bit more expensive than mine. Uh, maybe. And now I have this elevate ability, so let's go ahead and figure out what I need to do. So I know I have this. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the only other two options, so I'm definitely going to elevate one of those. It makes nice. it very easy for me. No matching symbol in the top right corner, so this is completely done. Very good. And you cannot elevate an insight from the middle into one. You basically can't create one right. via an elevate action. Those can only essentially upgrade things you already have. Yep. All right, back to me. I think it is time for me to get another technique because okay. you definitely want to do that uh, early. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to place my my last idea. I'm going to place it here, mm. I think. Mm -hmm. So this is going to allow me to take a technique at the cost of three coffees. Sure. So it is very expensive. Okay. Good thing I went second. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I'll be able to take the bonus as well as the main benefit in the order by choosing. So first, the bonus is going to get me a median green. Yeah. I'm going to go right there. And then it's going to allow me to upgrade. Um, I guess I, I'll use it, but I don't necessarily. Well, yeah, yeah it's good. It's good. Yeah. It is very good. I'm going to upgrade great. it like that. That's exactly what I needed, actually. Sure. I, was, I was planning on using coffee <laughs> to get to what I need for uh, that patient. No need. No need. I think I'll just place this here. OK. So it is next to uh, a, at least a different row. Sure. So I think I think that's it. So this is going to slide over. Yep. And we're going to get a new one new to go one. right there. There we go. So so oh. now I think I'm going to treat again. Okay. I'm going to treat my client for their full amount. Oh, gosh. I just realized I'm going to lose out on this benefit. But you know mm. what? I'm just trying to go. <laughs> I'm trying to go for it. Go for it. So this is a, a major green, which is this. And then any two of the median greens, now you can overspend. So I'm going to be spending this, uh, this major okay. uh, purple to fulfill that. And then this is going to give me the three treatment hearts. I go one, two, three. Uh, this went all the way to zero, so now my client is fully uh, cured, and so I'm going to score the points on the client's card, which is six points six total. Six points, okay, so you're at, from 11 to 17? Yeah. Additionally, I could also uh, activate the main ability of one of my technique tiles, but both of them require me to have <laughs> you spent a, it all. an insight. I spent it all. I didn't yeah. plan efficiently there, it's okay. so you it's fine. It done. The dream is going to go out, and now this is a client who's going to just be in my cured uh, database yeah. here. So now you have a new ability. I do. I also have two location symbols now for the, the red coffee cup location. Yep. Probably a coffee shop, right? Yeah. <laughs> and just so you know, my client's ability gives me the ability to move one additional space whenever I move my professor or Freud. Mm -hmm. So this space, for example, is one to three spaces now rather sure. than just one or two. Gotcha. So... All right, so now that I have uh, fully cured my first client, I now get to remove this, and I have space for two clients. Yep. I'm going to draft them now from the display. So the first client I'm going to draft is this general client. And okay. as you can see, they already come with their grief layer. When we refill, we're going to add a, a random grief layer on top of the card. Yep. 
Um, in addition to the client, I'm also going to draft a manifest dream and then I take a latent one at random. So seeing as there are no uh, manifest dreams that have the same symbol, which is the I symbol, I'm just going to take this one because it'll hopefully get me to to cure her faster. Yeah. And then this is the, no, this one, this is yep, the latent that's dream. Latent one, yep. So manifest dream goes on top of the latent one. There and you go. go above. Ooh, you need a lot so, of uh, uh, majors. I do. You need four total majors out of here. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's a problem. But it can be rewarding. All right. So we're going to go ahead and refill. So here is our next uh, client with their grief layer, just mm. like that. I get to draft a second one. Ooh. And by the way, I drafted this client because their ongoing ability, uh, as soon as I'm able to cure them, is you can always transfer a minor mm -hmm. um, insight, which sounds super, super nice. useful. Yeah. And for my second one, I think I'm going to draft uh, this client because their ability, I believe, gets me a discount of one copy whenever I take a technique tile. Plus, they have just a different uh, location symbol. And I don't think we mentioned this in the teach, but at the very end of the game, you're also going to score points for each different location symbol that you have. Yep. And I believe it follows a... Uh, it's a kind of exponential scoring. It's the zero, one, scoring. three, six, or yeah, triangle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. So if you have all six, it's 15 points. Yep. So that, that'll be nice. Um, they also have the eye on their, uh, their grief layer. So I don't see anything there. Uh, they only require four therapy points, though. So I can go a little bit uh, cheaper in terms of what resources I need. So I'm going to draft this uh, card, and then here is my, my latent dream. There we go. Cool. That's exactly the number that I need in terms of uh, therapy hearts. So let's go ahead and, and add another one. And there we go. That is the, the new uh, client. That is a lot of hearts. A lot of hearts. Oh, no. Uh, that's going to be tough. Drama. Okay. So this is five total that I'll need to treat. So that'll go there. And this is four total. So hopefully these will be fast uh, fast treatments. Sure. All right. I believe that is, that is it for me. Cool. Now it's... Back to me. Okay, so I have no more ideas to give, so <laughs> it's time to go to bed. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take a rest action. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take back all my pieces. Because I'm in two separate locations, I'm going to get two coffee. Okay. Uh, again, because these are stacked, this is just one location, so mm -hmm. I don't get three. I only get two. Uh, the next thing I can do, mm -hmm. oh, thank you. And so instead of treating, I'm going to take a recall bonus. Because I'm in this location here, I'm going to strip this piece off. Oh, which okay. reveals one of those. So yeah, um, nice. Freud is going to actually be moving. Yep. Uh, and because Freud moves and goes past that little symbol, Freud is actually going to go clockwise to you over there, Monique. Uh, I'm going to move forward one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take the bonus that's associated here. And I think I'm going to take, I'm just going to go with the flame. That's nice. Why not? So, or you know what? No, I won't go with no? the flame. I'm going to go with this one. I, maybe I can come back here and get the flame in the what, future. What, what is that that you covered up there? Uh, it's the medium uh, red. The me you're going for the medium, medium one? Yeah. We can always overpay. All right, fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Why not? I'll overpay. Let's what if it. I go over there and yeah, swoop just it? Swipe it. Yeah, I don't yeah. like that. Okay. Well, there you go. So now I have it. And then I'm most likely going to overpay when I come over here <laughs> to uh, try to cure them. Also, if it wasn't apparent, the reason why the tokens went up the reputation track is because this symbol here was revealed. Mm -hmm. So Naveen went up one reputation, but Freud always moves up first. And yep. there are these tiny symbols that are in between the spaces on the reputation track. And that just basically means as soon as Freud uh, passes that marker, then Freud's uh, meeple character moves one space clockwise around mm -hmm. the, the map. All right, that's my turn. Back to you. All right, so I'm going to do very much the same thing. I have to recall my ideas. So I'm in two different locations, which is going to get me two coffee. So that's kind of nice. And then I'm also going to take a recall uh, bonus token because I don't have any insights to treat either of my, right. my clients. So I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, token over here because I am in the green district. Okay. And uh, that's going to get Here me one go. reputation so as well. Go ahead and do this whole thing. So I'm going to move. Because he crossed over, he's moving. Yeah, uh, unfortunate. You're come on top over here. I was right there. I know, he, he bailed. I missed, I just missed Freud. He's like, oh man. But I guess this is my doing. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and place this in one of these three spots because I'm at this location. I think I'm going to take a technique. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a technique tile right now okay. because it'll help me complete this column. And the one and, you can take are one of these two. Right. And I do not get any of, I don't get to activate anything on it. It's just going to get placed on my board. So I think I'm going to take this technique because this says that when I activate it, I can uh, basically downgrade an insight in order to take a median green. Mm -hmm. And so the thing that we didn't really discuss about coffee is you can spend one coffee on your turn to basically ignore any of those requirements whenever you come across them. 
So with this, I'll be able to spend one coffee to take a medium green, mm -hmm. essentially. So I'm going to place that there. This completes my first column, unlocking my own uh, player insight right there. And there's a tiny one because it also scores me a point for unlocking that one. So I'm just take one point, just like that. Cool. I think that's it. Sure. So these are darker because these are technically era uh, two technique tokens. All of the lighter techniques are era one. And as soon as Freud gets to this space on the reputation track, we're actually going to have to remove them all from the board. So we'll see if there's any left over at sure. that point. Okay. So for my turn, I think I'm going to do something a little different, uh, something we haven't done yet. And I'm going to take a couple newspaper mm. clippings. Ah. So I'm going to do two uh, um, tokens over here. And okay. let's go ahead and grab two. And I'll make a decision if I want to swap out. That's a pretty nice looking card there. Mm, okay. Yeah, it has two locations on it. It does. Okay, I will swap this out. So I'm going to take this one and give back that one there. Interesting. You didn't yeah. want just two two of any I minor mean, this came with something. Insight? So, I mean, I do, but <laughs> I like this also. Okay. So now my choice is to either treat or to move the inkwell. I am going to treat now. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and treat with the major purple. Okay. Uh, and then I just need to treat with uh, two uh, medians. So I have my median red. And I'm going to overpay with that thing that we talked about. The <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to overpay. So we have treated. Okay. It is done. So let's go ahead and um, get rid of this. I, I get three hearts. So we're going to go down one, two. Now any excess hearts that you produce, mm -hmm. you get to score two points. Nice. So I'm going to get two points right away. Wow. That's nice. Yeah. One, two. And then um, this allows me to take the action of one of these two tiles. I do have this tile. Mm -hmm. So I can convert this, uh, this small, or sorry, this minor red uh -huh. into any medium. So I'm just going to, honestly, I'm going to turn it in okay. for a median of its, of its same category. So it really just moved up this okay. way. Does that make sense? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I was using this from that there. So the stream is gone. Very good. Uh, I get now five points. Yep. And then I have it, one of these coffee cup symbols now going forward. And then I can also, uh, from now on, as much as I want, turn any uh, minor tokens into coffee. Uh, oh. So it's something, yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah. Maybe I'll use it. I, I don't know if I will. I just needed to get that off. Now these, what does these... that look like in real life? <laughs> yeah. Insights coffee one, maker. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay. Uh, these were all random, by the way, that, that were given to us. We did not draft uh, at the start of the game. Right. There is a, a variant, though, mm -hmm. for anybody who's kind of an experienced player. You can draft them to start the game, but we just decided to go with a random We are not choice. those experienced players. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. But you now do get to draft two I fights. do. So I can get so rid of this, open up some space. It is gone, yeah. Uh, I like the fact that this person's a cheapie in terms of how many parts. <laughs> So okay. I'd like to deal with that individual. Do you want to put in the work? I don't want to put in the work. Therapy? No. Naveen, don't go to Naveen. So I, I am seeing this as a cloud, uh, and I believe that second one is a cloud. This is also has a cloud on uh, it. Let's see. What's What uh, do I need? That one requires a little bit more effort it also. It does. Extra two points. Yeah, I'll, t I'll take the that one right there. All right. Okay. The, and then I go. need a uh, Here's latent. Here's your, your latent. Okay. And let's go oh, ahead and... Here. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm going to refill this before you... Uh, make my next decision. Make your next decision. Yep. Here is the next uh, client. Okay, what do you want? There you go. What's your needs? Oh, six, six also. Six hearts. Ooh. Let's talk. Ooh, when you move your inkwell, you can move it one additional space. The thing that's uh, that's nice for you, I guess, if you're putting them in your second client spot, mm -hmm. is at six, you immediately get a point. That's true. Some of the therapy uh, spots here are marked with bonus points. And if you land or if you place the, the token on it, if you have to, you get the points immediately. Right. Or if you go uh, below that threshold. So I think I will go with, I'll go with the, the lady over here on the right. Okay. Yeah. As well as uh, which dream? Uh, let's go with the the one with three hearts on it. Okay, here's yes, your client. And the, air, the hot air balloons with the uh, violin in the back. <laughs> cool. What a dream. What a dream. I want that dream. There we go. There you okay. go. So we have enough hearts to be able to satisfy this without having to do more. Okay, because you can do several and you don't have enough hearts on your dreams. You right. can take another turn essentially to treat with the yeah. basic. So don't forget to set your tokens. 
Uh, yes, thank you. So this one has four hearts. This one has six hearts. And just like Monique said, I am going to cover up this one spot. So I do get one point for doing that. Nice. There we go. So okay. the thing that's nice about this client is it looks like when you play a newspaper card, you can play an additional. Newspaper cards. That's super nice. This is it, I identified that I might have had to take her. So mm -hmm. that's why I kind of went and grabbed some newspaper articles. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, back to me. And I still have my problem of having no resources. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm just going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go to this spot here. So I'm going I'm to put two ideas, which yeah. lets me activate this twice, which means I'm going to get six total resources. Sure, yeah. I have to choose uh, one color first to get all three, and I think it's going to be green. They both have green yeah. as a commonality. That makes sense. So they're going to be three green minor, and then I think I'll choose red Okay. for the, the second activation. Right. And then I think I'm going to move my ink pot. So I placed it here so that my ink pot can move four spaces. One, two, three, four. Okay. And again, this spot right here allows me to take the points above my token, which can you see how many points? I think it's one point. One point? Uh, two points. Two points. Yeah, two points. Since awesome. I'm here, I can get them for you. So I get the points, and then I get to activate one action that is uh, in the threshold underneath uh, Freud's one token. One of these three things right here. Or lower, as soon as Freud gets kind of higher up sure. on the track. And so I think the options are play a newspaper card, Activate the location where Freud is twice, or take a bright idea. Those are nice, They're but nice. activating Freud's location twice gets me two uh, elevate actions, which is better than me stopping at any of my other <laughs> places here. Sure. So I'm going to do that. And I think I'm just going to do one red and one green. Okay. All right. Cool. That's me. Back to you. Very good. All right. One last idea. So I also need some of these resources, just like Monique. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and place out here, and I'm going to take... My commonality is also the green symbol. So I'm going to take three of the green. Okay. One, two, and three. And then uh, I will not be treating. So I'm going to go ahead and move the inkwell. We got one, two, three. So now that I'm at this top position, uh, I'm going to go ahead and unlock another idea. <gasps> nice. So that means I can now redeploy and maybe get more coffee, do yeah. more actions before having to uh, kind of uh, rest. Nice. I'm jealous. So then with my last idea, I think I'm going to go and take another technique tile. I'm going to go here because I need to be able to move my ink pot okay. uh, two spaces. Um, so I have to pay two coffee. So there's that. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take this one and this lets me get the bonus immediately, which are two, um, two minor reds. So sure. I'm using all of my <laughs> insight tokens here. Okay. And then I'm going to place it in the top row, just like that. Okay. So this gets refilled and then I can move my, my ink pot twice. So one, two, I'm going to go ahead and uh, activate this row. And I think I'm just going to spend the two that I had gained for this tile. I'm going to spend them both to basically get a, um, a major red. Sure. And then this gets me a minor green, but I also have a technique tile that lets me spend a minor green. So instead of taking it, I'm just going to... Um, it's like you took it and now you're immediately spending it? Yes, for okay. two elevate sure. actions, essentially. So I'll do one green and one red. Okay. Just like that. And I think... I think that's it. Pretty good. So now it goes back to you. Interesting spot, Monique. Why? This thing is surrounded. I have these cards. Oh, I didn't even think about that, but that's that's <clears> good. <throat> <laughs> that's actually good for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, You're not yeah. completely out of luck though. No. If you take a if you take literally this spot, um, this will move one, two, three, four, and then yeah. Freud will let you play a card. He, he would, yeah. Yeah, I think I have to. I think yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. So I'm going to take the action uh, where Freud is. Uh -huh. So I must move him, I believe, and then take the action. Freud does move one yep. space. One space. And then <laughs> I uh, over here, I don't have any matching symbols uh, for where Freud is in, uh -huh. in the district. So I can either take one coffee or turn in uh, <laughs> one of those um, median birds into a heart. Yeah. I'm going to take a coffee. Okay. So I have a coffee now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to move around four times. So okay. One, two, three, four. Nice. Uh, so I also get two points because we're both at the same spot. It's yeah. It's kind of just like what you just did. One, uh, two. Oh, the gap. And then <laughs> um, I was thinking about using this to play a card, but I think I might just take uh, the actions again where uh, Freud is. Okay. So I'm going to gain uh, coffee twice. I'm going to go one, two. I know I'm going to recall, so I should probably be spending coffee uh, prior to my recall. I think it's interesting that you decided to, to do that. I thought the only reason why you chose this location was so that you can play a card. Well, if you go here, 
Yeah. I'm in possession of two cards. Yeah. So then I would be going there for an inefficient playing of one card because I right. already have one in play. Does yeah. that make sense? It so does. I'd rather go there and just play both at once. I guess my point is, is this the spot that you want? Because well, you had chosen this spot thinking you would use it to play a card. Are there are, are those spots better? Um, There probably are, but <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but I'm knowing that when I recall, I'm yeah. going to get three coffee, meaning I'm in overabundance. Yeah. So I'm going to spend two coffee right now. Okay. One, two, uh, three, four, actually, to Ooh, move spending... these up. One, two. I know when I need to treat these two, yeah. I need this one and this one there. So now these are locked in. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, back to me. And it is time for me to recall my ideas once okay. again. So I'm going to go ahead and take these back. And that's going to get me two coffee. So one, two. Do I want to... Uh, recall bonuses are nice, but I think I can treat my clients. Let's see. It's interesting. If you recall bonus, there's two in the chit here. And I'm right in the path of, of taking the second one, which would give me the reputation. So, so I it's don't kind of want like, to do that. It's kind of like this chicken element, uh, the way it's stacked. Since you put it that way, <laughs> I am going to treat yeah. my clients. Uh, but first I have to spend two coffee because I don't have the median purple. So I need to do a transfer. I'm going to transfer one of these reds. Do I want to transfer a red? Yeah, I guess it doesn't. Well, you Actually, need the green. It does matter. It definitely matters. Yeah. I'm going to move one of the greens just like that. I only need one green for that. No, sorry. No, no, no. no, no. I need both it's greens. It's the other way around. Sorry, it yeah. matters. I do have to take that's the red. That's what you need to do. Yes. <laughs> that's exactly what I Right mean. when you started saying it, I was like, wait a second. Yes, that's exactly it. Okay, so let's go ahead and treat them. Starting with my first client over here, I'm going to use the, the dream layer. And so it's going to be, I'm going to leave this here. Sure. <laughs> Maybe that's easier. Yeah. So one major red. I have a median purple and a median green. Sure. Okay, so that's fully completed. That gets me the three therapy hearts. So one, two, three. Uh, three points plus my clients in catharsis. So it's an additional uh, 12. 12 points are what's on the grief so layer. 15. So it's 15 total. So, so it should go to 35? 35. There you go. Uh, in addition, the grief layer will get me two of the minor purple. So that's nice because I can start working on something else with those resources. Mm -hmm. um, my symbol is an eye. It does not match anything on here. So both of these just go out. And I'm one step closer to curing my client. Yeah. And by the way, even though I gained some resources, some insights by uh, by treating my client, I mm -hmm. could not use those, those insights to now treat the second one right. because it's like you're treating them both at the same time. Same time, yeah. So, and also, even though I've, I've revealed another layer, I could not continue to treat my client because each client can only be treated once per turn. Sure. So that one is done for now. I'm going to go ahead and treat this one. So it's going to be one um, median red and one median green. There you go. Okay. And so that's two hearts. And they are now also in catharsis. So this is going to be eight plus one. So nine points. So, so 44. I'm at, so it's 544. Yep. Yeah. Uh, these both go out. I also gain one coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's a nice, uh, fun benefit of that of that one. Nice. There you go. Okay. Ew. So my clients are a little bit closer to to being fully uh, cured. Yeah, you're doing good. Wow. All right. I think that's it. So now it's back to you. Even close. Uh, well, I have no more ideas, so I'm going to ha definitely have to recall. So one, two, three. Uh, three different locations, mm -hmm. so that means I get my three coffee, so that's up to four. And I'm not going to treat, so I'm going to take one of these recall bonus tiles, and because I'm in this location, I can put it on one of these two. Uh, what do I need? I need quite a bit of things, so it's quite the feat. So I'm going to go ahead and place this out right there, so I have now a median fire. Nice. Right there. Okay. Wow, you've taken almost all of those, uh, those locations. Uh, yeah, yeah so not what I want to do, but it is what it is. All right, back to you. All right, back to me. Uh, it's getting it's getting tough now to strategize what uh, the next the right thing to do is. Well, I think I'd like another technique tile. Okay. But which one to take? That's the question. You know, I'm gonna go over here. So it's gonna let me uh, spend three coffee. Oh no, that's all my coffee. All of it. Yeah. <laughs> that's scary. But I get to take both uh, both things, I guess, on the tile. So I'm gonna take this one. Okay. It's gonna get me a median a median red. And then immediately I can spend any median insight to turn it into a major. So it would have to be that red. median red. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just going to turn it in right there. And then I'm going to place this. Let's see, where did I put it here? I'm going to place this here. Okay. Because it's going to give me two movements on my ink pot, so I'll be able to activate that. But first, let's go ahead and refill this. Yep. So now we have some era two tiles. Mm -hmm. So then I don't have enough to treat my clients. I'm going to move my ink pot two spaces. So one, two. And then I can activate this row first. I'm going to gain a minor 
red uh, insight, just like that. I can also elevate for one, which I will do. I'll just, I guess I'll just elevate this to the median. And then the second uh, technique tile, the one that I just acquired, allows me to spend this to turn it into a major. So I, this needs me to have two universal major ones sure. and then a purple major, which I don't have yet. Okay. So that's it for me. It goes back to you. Ah, oh, okay, man. I feel like I'm behind and I need to do something. Okay, so I am going to move on over to this location here. Okay. And I am going to play two of my uh, newspaper articles. So I have these two. Nice. Uh, so these come with some symbols, which is really, really nice for oh, later that's on. that's great. Uh, and then I'm going to be able to gain a minor purple mm -hmm. and a minor green. Nice. So that is good for me. Yes, yeah, so those are those uh, immediate benefits. Immediate benefits. But now you have you have four different symbols. You basically have one of each location in the purple district, I, as I well have, as yeah. I have green. five symbols, so I have one, two, three, four, five, and wow. this is that six symbol that I need. Oh my gosh! At so the nice. very end for fifteen points. It's it's not the spread that we that we have there, but I'm ideally going to be scoring You're these setting up at some point in the game for sure. And are you going to turn these into a treatise? That is the question. We'll uh, see. That's the question. Yes, uh, <laughs> maybe in the future. Who knows? You're okay. Right. Uh, okay, and uh, instead of moving the ink pot, I think I will. Uh, I think I will be able to treat if I'm oh. not mistaken. So these both need the major fires, and I'm just short right here. So mm -hmm. I think I'm going to spend all four of my one, two, three, four to go up one, two. Right, it's two to one to to be able to uh, elevate them to a higher level. Yes, two to two to one elevation. Yeah, and so instead of moving the ink pot, I am going to go ahead and. Uh, and treat both of these uh, clients over here. Okay. So this one requires uh, the major red and the uh, median uh, green. So mm -hmm. we have major red, median green. Nice. Uh, and this one's going to be major red, median green, and then that newly acquired uh, minor purple Very that good. I got from playing this card. So these both got treated. Uh -huh. uh, so let's go ahead and just resolve the left one first. This one is going to give me two hearts and uh, three points. So two hearts is good enough to cross this little threshold. So the grief goes bye-bye. Sweet. So this is going to come so off. that's 11 points total. Yeah, so it's three. Uh, plus they do match. So I have ah. a cloud symbol, cloud symbol. So it's going to be 12 points 12. total. So it's 12 plus 26, 38. Uh, yes. There you go. Uh, the benefit on this little card right here says I can take one of these two actions. Mm -hmm. Um, knowing that I'm going to need some uh, circles coming into this next uh, round, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of two miners to make one major freedom purple. Ah, okay. There go. So that's that benefit that I took there. Very good. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and treat here. Okay. So this one we had already paid for. Yeah. So uh, it's one point plus another 10 points, so 11 points. There is no match here. Okay, so you have to move down three. Don't forget to move the hearts. Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, where did that go? Oh, yes. It's going to be one, two, three. And okay, so that so was just, just enough to hit the reach. threshold. And that's important because yes. had this not reached the symbol, the grief layer would stay. Stay, yeah. So, uh, but you did get to remove it. So it's going to be 11 points. The symbols are not matching, right? Yeah. So that's an, oh, here we go, Naveen. Look at yeah, you. I'm moving. So 49. 49. 49, and then the benefit is I get a major green. Wow, that's great. Look which at is you. two towards that. You are set up. Ah. And scoring points. Uh-oh, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you have newspaper cards. I do. In trouble. I do. Uh, I don't know. That's my turn. All right, I'm going to place both of my ideas over here. Okay. So I really need a fourth idea. So you're going which way? Towards I'm Freud or this one right here? here. Okay. So I'm going to move my professor. Okay. Uh, now that I have this sweet, this, nicer. this sweet uh -huh. ongoing ability that we move go. an additional space. Thank you, Naveen, by the yeah. way. I can never get that right. She just tosses them out there. I do. I just toss my ideas everywhere. I'm going to move three spaces instead of two. Okay. Again, because it's because of my uh, client's So you're ability. saying bye-bye, professor? I am. My professor's leaving. We're moving. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Now that I've landed here, I get to activate that location. I only have, I don't have any symbols. And unfortunately, Freud is not in... Uh, my location either. So I only get to activate this once. Okay. So I'm going to use it to do a uh, one elevation. And I think I'm going to just elevate this red, my minor into a median right there. Okay. And so uh, because I placed two ideas here, I could do it again. Now, alternatively, I can just move directly to where Freud is and then activate that location. But I think I'm going to move one more space. And in activating that location or that, uh, that action, you have to always move at least one space. Yeah. You can't stay put. Sure. So now that I'm in this location, this is a coffee shop uh, symbol, and I have two of those symbols right there. Yeah. 
So I can now take three of these listed actions. Yeah, one for you and then one for each additional symbol up to the max of four. Yes. And I think I'm just going to take three coffee. Sure. Because coffee is an option and I don't and have vital. any anymore. So now I have three. All right. Uh, I'm going to move my ink pot. So it's going to be three spots. So one, two, three. And now I can activate this row. Oof. So I get a minor green, which again, I'm just going to turn in for this technique. That's such a nice system you have. Two, two oh. elevations. So what do I need? I definitely need a major uh, purple. So that's my two elevations for that. Completing my last major red need over here, I'm going to turn in two of any minor colors. So it's going to be these two for a major red. Wow. So now I'm ready to treat my clients All on a future peeps. turn. That's me. Oh. Back to you. Okay. Why are you mad? I'm <laughs> mad because I know about the chicken game and I know you have no more ideas and I know you're trying to get this as your rest. Is that right? Am I forced to take a rest right now mm, to be able to what? take that point? I mean, I, I need resources. By by resting, I could put this here. It okay. would get me a reputation. I'd go up on the track. But think about it. You're forcing a reputation. It doesn't score you actual points. It just potentially gives you the ability to have that 2x multiplier. In a two-player game, someone's going to have 2x multiplier on clients and uh, treatises, mm -hmm. while the other player gets one. It's not as harsh as in a four-player uh, game where you potentially score nothing. I know, I know. Right? All right, chicken. I'm chicken, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna play <laughs> what this. What do you mean? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. So I'm gonna place <laughs> this here. So I'm gonna take uh, three of these minor reds. So we're gonna go one, two, and three. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna move my inkwell because I'm not ready to treat. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Here I'm gonna just go ahead and resolve in this order. So I'm gonna take a red. Yep. And then I'm gonna instantly convert it into one of these. So I know that I need. To treat these, I, I have the green major. Yeah. I need <laughs> I need a lot of things there, so that's that's gonna be a problem. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just convert this up one. To that median. To that median, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you're done. That's it. Okay, back to me. I am going to recall. I have yeah. to, but uh, I think I'm gonna treat. I don't think I'm gonna do a, a location bonus okay. thing, Ooh. right? So sure. I'm gonna go ahead and recall these. I'll get the two coffee, and I think I have everything now. Right? I have the, the three majors, the red major, and a median. Okay, so I'm going to treat both of my clients. So starting with the left, it's a major purple, and then any other two majors. So I'm going okay. to do two red. And then this right one needs one major red, and then uh, any median. So now I'm back to zero <laughs> again on okay. my insight dial, but at least I'm treating both of these clients. So this one's already paid for. It's going to get me three uh, therapy heart. So one, two, because I have a third one, it's going to be just two points for that sure. third one. Um, in addition, I get five points for the card uh, for the client themselves. So to 51. 51 yeah. And then this card is going to gain me a technique tile yeah, as a reward one of these two right for here. treating with the dream. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, one of these two. Exactly. Oh, so this lets me double down, do a double downgrade uh, to just get a therapy heart. It's not bad, but I want to place it in this row, and this row already has a technique that requires me to downgrade. Mm. So I'm just going to take this one, because mm -hmm. this is also not bad. Sure. Um, I'm putting it here. It's going to complete this second column, so I get two points for this and another yeah. insight. Look what you revealed. Token. One down to double up. One, two. What? Wow. That's nice. That is nice. That's great. Yeah, that is great. All right, and I think that is everything for this client. So this dream gets discarded, and the client will go here. I think I, you can just stagger them because what's important is the bottom bonus. Mm -hmm. They come with a location bonus specifically for uh, this area over here. Okay. So it's my first of that location. Um, and now for my second client, I've already paid my resources. It's going to be two therapy hearts So one, two. And now they are cured. I get five points for the client. So it goes to 58. And then I also get to take a location action with my professor. I can move them up to two spaces. Or up to three, I guess. Up to three, yeah. So then I'm just going to move my professor. Uh, I'll move them three spaces. One, two, three, because again, I have that ability. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have one location point for my professor and then one for this. Well, you know, I don't necessarily know if I can use this location. Because you just Because it. you're supposed to treat them at the same time. Right. Does that make sense? Yep. So you know what? I'm going to forgo. One, two, three. I'm going to forgo that bonus. You're going to say nay. Yeah. Actually, why would I do that? <laughs> I'm going to take it. One, two, three. Because it still gets me... Gets something. A something. <laughs> something. A minor uh, purple insight yeah. there. 
So that'll, that'll help nothing. me. Yeah. yeah, just one less than what I would have had, right? Sure. So that's it. And cool. so this client gets me a one coffee discount anytime I want to take a technique tile. You're doing it. So there's that. There's something else, Monique. Dream is out. Uh, yes, I will <sighs> have to draft two more clients, but before I do, I'm going to end my turn. And uh, I think I've qualified for two location goal tiles. Too good. Because I have uh, treated three general clients. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one of them. Uh, yeah, three general. That's going to be this one right here. So it's worth three points and a reputation for wow, you. Nice. So Thank I'll help you. you with the reputation. So uh, they always move first, meaning Freud. Uh huh. So because Freud crossed the line, he's crossing in. Okay. And then you come on over and then I'll get you your three points. One, two, three. Thank you. And then you honestly did it again. I did. I did it again. Yes. I filled you two columns. You did this. Thank you. Gosh, so that gets you were me able three, to get those tiles. Three points. One, two, three. Ah. And another reputation. Another rep. So he's going to not move this time, though. He'll slide right there. Uh, this will go over now. We are in. Era yeah, two. Era two. Yes. So era two has come. Immediately, we stop. We clear these off. Yep. And because these, these are, are no longer on down. available. So now we only have era two uh, tiles. Um, we only have access to those in the market. Oh, man. <laughs> so bad. I think that's it. Oh, I have a lot of coffee symbols. Yep. So now, now location actions are sweeter a little bit later in the game once you've collected uh, more symbols. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. So now I'm going to go ahead and draft uh, two new clients. Well, I'm definitely going to take this client. I'm going in the research direction now, and uh, this client is going to get me two points for every red symbol, location mm -hmm. symbol I have, basically. Okay. So there is an I on this grief layer, so I'm going to go ahead and match it with, I think I'll go with this, this dream, and I have to take a random latent dream. So there's that. Oh, no! I don't have enough heart symbols to completely oh, uh, yeah. cure this client with dreams alone. So mm. I'm going to have to either treat again or find another Something heart symbol. Like this. Yeah, yeah, I should have taken that tile. <laughs> it was gone. It, it was somewhere else. The locations do it too, though. Mm. So there's that. And then this client starts at five, um, five hearts. And then let's go ahead and get a random new client. This is the other research client. Oh, what do we have? Oh, Naveen, this is good for you. Two points for every played newspaper card. But you have to have them still in front of you, right? At the end of the game, yeah. These are both good for you because this is three points for each uh, treatise. Treatise. So it depends on what you want to do with it. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I know that I said this is good for you, <laughs> Naveen. Go ahead. But I think I have to draft this client. They're all really heart expensive. They are. And this one is not as bad, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and, and draft this client. It's going to be in my best interest now to play these newspaper cards. And since there is a cloud up there, I'm going to take this dream card with a random latent. Ooh, that looks familiar. Starry night. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So they are going to start at, what is that? That's six? Six, yeah. Oh, You'll get boy. a point. I get a point, yeah, for starting all the way over there. Okay. Oof. All right. So now we have a new dream. Wow, look at this dream. Mm. I really do wish that at least that that even just like a few of my dreams were nearly as beautiful <laughs> as these ones. Yeah. So here's the new research client. There you go. Oh, that one's better. I think this is four points for, for completed column. Yeah, probably. Oh, no. Good. <laughs> All right, that is me. So now it is back to you. Yeah. Um, wow. You are doing very well. It just kind of escalated. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know what happened there. I am a little scared. <laughs> Um, I think we are about halfway through, surprisingly. Yeah, maybe maybe more, because maybe. It, it, it can ramp up. Yeah, the late ah. game definitely ramps up uh, much faster than much you faster. think it's going to, and then suddenly everybody gains reputation, and suddenly Freud is off the track. I know. So. All right. I'm going to go ahead and elevate some of my stuff. Twice. So I'm going to go here twice. Okay. Uh, very simply, I need to get... Uh, so I have one and one here, so okay. that... I need to just move things, so I think I, I have a way. So I need to get to a fire, so we're going to go one, two. Okay, so that's the, so that's first, the uh, first one. First action. Uh, the next one, I think I'm just going to do it again. One, two. And so now I am just going to treat. I am not going to move the inkwell. So okay. uh, I need, for this one, I need a green uh -huh. and a medium of anything. anything. So those go in. Nice. Then I need a fire specifically, and then big circle, big circle. <laughs> 
You did it. Very good. You did it. Yeah, okay. you did. So, so. Um, I'm going to be able to take uh, one of the, these actions here. So okay. I get to move up to two spaces. Okay, I'm going to move here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get myself uh, coffee. So now I can take up to two of these actions because it's one Plus, I have one here. Mm -hmm. uh, Freud is in this zone, but I'm not able to use Freud because he's not specifically with me in that same location. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and take two coffee. One, two. Because I do not have that symbol to turn it in for hearts. And plus, I don't have any clients to spend the hearts on. So <laughs> I guess I could tag him for two points each, but I'm not going to do that. Very good. Okay. So then the two hearts are there. Nice. Because he is now fully cured, we're going to get five points. Very good. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then uh, this now uh, says whenever I take this particular action, moving to where um, Freud is, I get one more extra um, lightning oh, bolt symbol. That's great. So hopefully I can use that. It's basically a free location point yeah. to activate an action there. That's and, fantastic. And then I have this symbol as well. Nice. So uh, that's that. I'll so take this dream. dream is gone. Look at that art on that dream, huh? Yeah, I think. It's like a Dr. Phil looking. The environment is staring at me. Yeah. Do you see that? I see that. Dr. <laughs> Phil, I see that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then uh, this one here, um, it is going to be gain one of these tiles. Uh, I need a slot here. Yeah. And that is the symbol for this right here. So I, this is perfect. I'll just take it. I really wanted this, but once you did that whole cascading, mm. I'm now stuck with this. So okay. this is kind of nice, though. I can turn in a minor green for heart. Yeah, And I need nice. a slot for this minor green. So there you go. So let's go ahead and just slot that in. Now that this is complete, I yep. can remove this, allowing me to get one point right away. There you go. I'll take it. And um, so that is that for that. So three hearts. We go one, two, three. This person is now fully cured. Six points. So we go from 55 to 61. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and then now, unfortunately, gosh, I did it one round too late because I have three general clients. Oh. You have already done it. Yeah. Yeah. This benefit says whenever I play a card, I can play one additional. That's so nice. if I was to go here, I can do three. Yeah. So that's something. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's a good one. Okay. And I believe I have all symbols showing one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you do. So, so as long as you can maintain good. that yeah. until the end of the game, you'll get the, the full points yeah. there. This goes, oh, uh, this goes out. Yeah, that's done. Yeah, that's done. So now All you get right. to draft. Uh, These very your expensive new, clients. Your new clients. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take one of these end game ones. So I'll take this. Okay. Uh, and then swirly symbol. So I, I, I'm in. Yeah, swirly, swirly, and swirly. I oh, know that's not swirly. Sorry. Just need, these two. Well, I mean, this is basically that, but this is easier than that because bird, bird, major, median. I'm going to take the median. Yeah, just it's uh, three points versus five. Yeah. So that's the difference. It's the ease. <laughs> I'm worried about the ease. Okay. So this is a so I can choose where these go. Yeah, I don't have to go slot it. I believe so. You need to. Uh, One, two, three, you four, need a late five, six, dream to go underneath yeah. your manifest. Well, one. I'm thinking because this is seven hearts. One. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, seven. I might as well put it here and get yes. myself three points. That'll get you four points total. Four points total. It'll get you three points now, and then as soon as you move on to the one, it'll get you a point. Oh, so, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's one, two, three. Nice. Because you are embarking on a difficult, difficult journey. Difficult task. Difficult with yet rewarding. The man with the parrot head <laughs> is a thing. So, so it goes on go. top. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Four total? Yeah, oh. you're going to need to get creative. Oh, man. Seven. That client. Sometimes that's a problem. You need to be creative. It's not not always going to be easy. That's a big problem for me. Difficult oh, road to travel. major heart person. This oh. one? Major heart? They oh, oh I see. a lot of hearts. Oh, but look at this. At the end of the game, for each uh, different major insight, is four points. That you, yeah, that you still have, that you that still use. have. Yeah, that's nice. It's nice. You know what? I'm going to take the one that's on the very far right. Because I know for a fact I get three, you know, I'm going to score three points. I do have a column filled yeah, out. that's a great and one. And I can't let you have it, so. <laughs> and that is a cloud. Cloud. So if you're curious, this is the only cloud dream. You know what? I need hearts, so I'm going to go with that one that has the most amount of hearts on it. Uh, this one? Yeah. The, the bird? Wow, yeah. it's a beautiful bird. It's nice, yeah. There you go. And here is your Give me something dream. with some hearts. Oh my okay. gosh, that wow, these dream. are... It's kind of intense. Tough. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. I know, yeah. that's kind of cool, right? It is, yeah. That's actually very cool. All oh. right, here we go. This is the new one for each, uh, I think, each reputation you have. Two points. Yeah. And then this goes nice. up seven hearts here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm covering the one. On the seven. Well, just, you know. Yeah. And then now we're tied. Now we're tied, Naveen. So you don't have to feel any kind of way. I feel a way about your hearts. This is a lot of hearts, but we're going to we're gonna try. I'm going to go for it. 
All right, so back to me. I think I'm going to move Freud. Um, I'm going to move Freud three times because that's the maximum amount that you can. Okay. And I think that'll hopefully help me unlock finally another um, idea because I only have three. Okay. I'm attempting to stack three here. Okay, I understand. And I need it to go here, there. So we're pointing at Freud. So this is going to let me move Freud. Uh, the, the action spot lets you move Freud one spot and then activate the action counting all your symbols. And I can do that three times. Sure. So I'm essentially going to go one, two, three, taking all three of those location actions. Okay. So first activation, Freud is moving over here. Okay. And so I get one uh, point for Freud plus, I think I have four symbols, four coffee symbols. So I'm mm. going to take that action um, four times. Okay. And it's funny, I'm going to max out on coffee if I don't spend it first. So I'm going to spend my coffee to move this up by one. And then with my benefit that that went along with this client mm -hmm. who I completely treated, I can uh, transfer for free basically at any time. So okay. I'm going to move this over here, okay. which is what I need in order to gain one therapy heart. So I'm going to spend this for that one therapy heart. Um, which I'm going to use on this client because with the amount of hearts here, it wasn't enough to completely treat them. Sure. So now that I went down by one, I can. So now I get three coffee because okay. that was just one of those actions. So now I'm maxed out. Uh, that was my first activation. The second one lets me move Freud into here. I don't think I have any of those green. I don't have any of those location symbols <laughs> at all. No. So just one time and I'm going to obviously use it to take one minor green in sight because I don't have anything to elevate. Uh, that was my first, second, and my final action. They're going to go there. And I don't have any book symbols either. Mm. Now, did <laughs> you, have to, you transferred which symbol was it? Mm? Did you transfer this this big one right here? You transferred it over here? I transferred it from here into here. You, so, uh, so with your ability. So that's only the minor that you get for free. Oh, OK. It's so not the major. I so had you... spent two coffee to move the purple from the minor to the median in mm. order to do that. So instead, what I would have done is transfer, transfer the minor and then, and then spend the coffee yes. for that. So it's okay. the same uh, result in the end, yes. but that difference is very important. Sure. So, or else I would have done that all game and cheated really badly. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to spend two coffee to turn this into the median green. <laughs> and then the one action I'm taking at this location <laughs> is to spend it for that one gotcha. therapy point. Like now, the now I can do both dreams and get both clients down to cured. Wow. So that is this action. I think that was all three, right? One, two, three. I think so. So then I'm going to move my ink pot. So one, two, three, four for that row. And I get finally another idea. Here we are. <laughs> it's late in the game. Um, oh. oh, well, better late than never. So well, it's back to you. I am not happy you moved Freud. Sorry. Because I was going to do my rest action with Freud there, who would give me one, two, me, three, Freud being in the entire district four to be able to put out a free freebie heart because these are very expensive people. This oh. one requires seven and I only have four in dreams, Monique. So you're going to have to utilize you crushed this. crushed my dreams. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, yeah. So I have to recall, though. I, I have no more ideas. Yeah, so let's yeah. go ahead and pull these back. One, two, three. So you get three coffee. So I get three coffee. That's good. Yeah. Um, then now I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take this bonus tile. And okay. I think I'm just going to slip it on top of, I think I'm going to slip it on top of this one right here. So I get to take get a, a newspaper, newspaper card. card and I can decide to swap it. I will swap it for this one. Interesting. I'll drop that one back off. Oh, uh, that's what you had. <laughs> yeah. And, so, um, so that's, that's that action. And, well, you get a reputation. Yeah, reputation. So yeah. this is going to slide forward. I come into this little zone right there. Very good. And we're moving it along. All right, done? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so now it's back to me. I technically have another idea here. All right, I think I am going to send out my my last idea, but first I'm going to spend, I don't know, this this might be a really bad plan, but I'm going to spend down three of my coffee to get a bright idea. Okay. So that I could, uh, so I could have a bright idea. For oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I guess I'm going to spend it now, so I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to put out my last idea here to gain a newspaper. And I'm going to spend the bright idea as if I have another idea here. Sure. So I'm going to be able to take two newspaper cards okay. um, instead of just one. So can you ask me two newspapers, uh, sure. please? One and two. Thank you. And let's just see. I'm going to trade this card for that one, please. Okay. Ooh, discard down for a red fire. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to take the, the I'm going to move my ink pot. 
So it's going to move a total of four spaces. So one, two, three, four. And that's going to let me activate. So how many points are above me? Uh, you get two points. Two points for blue, please. Yeah. Thank you. And then now that Freud is in this uh, middle threshold, I can play two cards. I can move my professor to where Freud is and take that action. I can take another idea. Or I can take one of the ones in the lower threshold, which I think the only other thing would be either a bright idea or activating this location twice. So I think I'm going to play both of these cards. It's kind of the whole reason why I got them. And so the first one is this red uh, newspaper, which gets me a minor red. So there's that. It also gets me two more location um, symbols. And then I have a purple one, which gets me two minor purple and then another purple symbol right there. Okay. And that's it. So back to you. Okay. All right. So I don't really have any resources right now. So I need to find a way to get as much as I can in this moment right here. So I'm going to take yeah. this bottom action here. Yeah, that's a pretty nice one. Yeah, I'm going to have to do this. And then so let's go ahead and You're doing it twice. Twice. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take one of them is going to be three purple because I see that I need some birdies. <laughs> okay. And then uh, what else do I need? I need red, I think. So because that green, oh, gosh, it's so hard. So I'll do one. <laughs> is this burning the brain? Three. It is. Is it a brain is. sizzle? I'm sizzling, man. Brain scramble. Oh, yo, yo. Okay. So then now I get to move the inkwell because I'm not going to be uh, doing anything special. So it's one, two, times. three, four. Okay. So now that I'm here, I can gain a purple. So let's just go ahead and gain a purple. And I can turn in two to represent one uh, freedom. So let's go ahead and just turn in one two and then i'll turn this one to be that freedom okay um and i think that's it and now it's back to you all right so back to me i have to recall again so here's two unique locations i get two coffee, two coffee. and i think i'm going to take a recall bonus okay. tile now because i cannot uh, treat my clients sure so i'm in the purple district so i get this which is going to gain me a reputation okay so he's going to move yeah technically you move Freud after my action okay. because it's going to impact Effect. the amount of, of uh, bonuses I get for this. Got it. So we'll move uh, Freud after. Okay. So now I'm going to place it on one of these spots here. I'm going to count up basically all of my symbols that are purple because it's the entire district. It's not just my location this time. Mm -hmm. So I have one for my professor, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Plus you, six. Six. Yep. Yeah. So I can go all the way up here. It's going to give me six points plus two therapy hearts that I'm going to decide how to distribute. Okay, six points. And in order for me to put this here, I have to place my own personal insight mm -hmm. uh, marker um, above it. So I get two therapy hearts. There you go. Ooh, do we put... I can put somebody in catharsis now. So I'm going to move Freud just so we don't forget, okay? Thank you. Yeah. The thing about it is if I move uh, one of my clients into catharsis, the grief layer gets removed and I will not score the bonus point for the matching dream because I'm not using the dream to cure them. So I'm going to do this one because, so this is going to go down twice, one, two, because the uh, grief layer is, I'm still going to be able to score it and it gets me a median uh, green resource, sure. which I can now try to use for this. So that's going to get me seven points. So what are we at? I got 80. 80. And then I get that median green insight. The catharsis layer gets removed. And now I will have still enough uh, to, if I were to treat using this dream layer to bring all, them all the way down to cured. Gotcha. So I think that was still a good uh, distribution there. Okay. So I think that's it, right? Uh, yeah, looks yeah, like it. I did that. Yeah, I recalled. Okay, so now it's back to you. Okay. Oof. And now, by the way, Freud has entered a new threshold here. So if you were to take this action, moving your ink pot here, uh, you could play three newspaper cards. Mm -hmm. You can get a technique tile doing that. Yep. So... Lots of good things yeah. now that we're nearing the end of the game. Okay, next action, I'm going to go ahead and place this tile out here at the oh, okay. two slot facing into here. So it's going to cost me three coffee. Mm. So five goes down to two. And I'm going to take this tile right here. This one allows me to, I get to take this action as well as this one in any order that I choose. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and take the one on the left first. So I'm going to bring one down mm -hmm. and then I'm going to take two kind of like that fire uh, red, the, the minor one right there. Well, you have to complete the action. So you took one down, you have to upgrade twice. Oh, sorry, yeah. So these were in here. So then I'm gonna upgrade uh, something twice. I know I need a major fire. So mm -hmm. let's just go ahead and go one, two, like Perfect. that. 
Okay, yes. And then now I will go ahead and get those two. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. Okay. okay. And that order was important because had you taken this first, you wouldn't have had enough insight things. tokens yep. for it. So that is a, a limiting factor in your dial. Yeah. So now I know I'm gonna I'm gonna be moving the ink wall one, two. It's just about where do I put this? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. This is this is a very tough tough decision here. I'll just put it down here. Yeah, it's definitely not, I'm not easy. Not exactly sure why. <laughs> so uh, I get to move the inkwell two spaces because we're not going to be trading right now. So yeah. it's going to go one, two. Wait, when you place those technique tiles, by the way, you definitely want to try to create synergies, but sometimes it's hard to see. This one in particular is like, a, you just better have something yeah, to then be to able give to up. have something else to go up. Or at least so. the coffee. So you can ignore that, that first requirement. Yes. Right? Yeah. That, that's the most ideal. So, uh, okay. Uh, this one right here. So how many points do you get? I think it's going to be two. Two, three. Yeah, that's the best spot. One, two, three. So after you cross the middle threshold, you start losing and points. Tapers, if yeah. you're if you're very very uh, reputable, I guess, uh -huh. and you take that action, you lose points. Mm -hmm. I guess it's because you're you're looking to Freud. Like you should be able to do this yourself, yeah. right? Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> you're now you have to take a, a Freud action. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to play this card. So I can play up to three cards. I only have one in my hand. But okay. I think I'm going to, ooh, if I play this one. Oh, you won't have the tokens? I won't have the tokens. Ah, <gasps> oh, they thought of everything, Naveen. <laughs> I guess I'm not in a super hurry right now. It's like extreme planning. You know what? I have this ability here. Mm -hmm. I can ditch miners to get coffee. Oh, yeah. So I should just ditch two, one, two. Yeah. Play this because it's an anytime thing. Play yep. this as my uh, my f newspaper playing card. Yeah. And then now I'll just take them back as I see fit. And so, I can take any color. And I take any color. Doesn't so have to be the red. I know I need a green soon, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one. Oh, I should get the coffee. Yeah. For doing that. So two that's coffee. One too. Yeah. So it's gonna be one in here. Uh huh. And then the other one. So I have bird. I need a small fire. <laughs> Big one. It's a lot. There's, there's fire and fire coming, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take another one, a red one. All right. Passion. <laughs> Passionate. Okay, so I think that is the end of my turn. So I do have one of each newspaper clipping. Nice. So you get one a little key. One of each people. color. So I do get this. Uh -oh. So um, I get three points. One, two, three. And then I get to move up on reputation. So Repu does Mr. Freud. And so he's just going to move on down. Oh, boy. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there uh, we go. Well, we have two more. We can only earn two more reputation before the game ends. Yeah. So this that's one's scary. Tight. Yeah, this one's tighter. Yeah, this one this one is tighter than the last time we mm -hmm. played this. We're pushing the game end much quicker. Yeah. So that's totally. the scary part. We haven't even made a treatise yet. Uh, not no, not yet. Possibly in the future. Mm. Maybe. All right, back to me. I'm gonna put two of my ideas over here because okay. I need to get some upgrades. Okay. So that's gonna let me upgrade uh, four times essentially. Before I do that, before I make this mistake again, I'm going to do my free transfer of a minor um, purple into a green. Okay. So there's that. Okay. So the first two are going to be a red to a major. Okay. The second two are gonna be a green to a major. There you go. Just like that. And then I'm going to move my ink pot uh, two spaces. So one, two, that lets me activate this row. Oof, that's such a I'm nice gonna row. gain this minor, which I'm going to spend to do another two upgrades. So I think I need one, two. Okay. All right, that's me. Now it's back to you, Naveen. You know what? We forgot to refill this. Oh yeah. So okay. this moves yeah. over. I think uh, when you had taken yeah, one, right? Yeah, I think you are right. All right, I only have one left. Uh, let's go ahead and place it. How do I need to get here? I need to get to one. If I go here, I can activate all these. Okay, with my one last piece, I'm gonna go ahead and place my marker there, my idea. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and spend a coffee to take one of these two. Seeing as hearts are very hard for me to come by, I'm willing to do this one. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and take it and I'm gonna place it I think I'll probably place it here so I can do my all my heart stuff in one action if yeah. I can get around to it. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Okay, um, and then I am going to move the inkwell because I'm not going to treat now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just move the inkwell here. I'm going to activate this entire column. Ah, that's the first time we're doing that. 
first and time. So because you have you had it uh, vacant. Yeah, right? vacant. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, let's go ahead and we can do this in any order. Mm -hmm. So there's no sense in me doing this one right now, I guess. So well, don't forget you also have this. I do have that. So that's a free minor. So this I can't even physically do right now color. because it's oh, nothing. So that's I why see. I'm trying to spend to get into it. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna spend this one down. Okay. To get a heart. So I think because this is going to be three hearts, it's going to be one, two, three, four hearts to here. So if uh -huh. I ever treat this, I'm never going to get this thing off at the right time. So yeah. I'm going to do one there. So because I exposed that, Monique, yeah. do I get a point for exposing that? Is that what that, how you that works? You started on I started it. on it? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So it's when you land on it, right? It, when you land on it or go below it, okay. not and. So you okay. already took the points gotcha. for when you landed on it. Okay. So one heart is complete. Okay. I'm going to turn in uh, two minors yep. into one major purple okay and then i'm going to turn this fire uh-huh into its itself so it's I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm actually going to turn in my my brown one to put out the clear one yeah smart just so i have the flexibility to use these uh these yellowish brown ones out on the board if i need yeah. to and right. then finally for my last one i'm going to go ahead and um i'm going to take uh one of these as just a green yeah, and by the way, on that note, yeah, in addition to needing to place these onto the board, you also need to place them on treatises. We haven't made them yet, but if we ever get around to, to writing one of these, yet. you have to put one of your color tokens on it. Right. So that is why it's important that you spend the, the neutral mm -hmm. clear ones first before your colored ones. That's it, yep. Then? That's me, yeah. All right, so back to me. I think I might recall my ideas, even Already, if I haven't huh? put these out yet, just because Freud is in my district and I don't know how much longer he'll be there. And I sure. need him in order for me to get the seven. So, cause let's see, I'm in the purple district. I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. It'll be my second insight and I can get a location uh, goal tile. So I'm gonna get a re recall first. Okay. So I only get one copy for that. And then I'm going to take this. So it does not get me the reputation for uncovering it, sure. which is fine. So I'm gonna place it here. It's going to get me seven points and three treatment uh, hearts. So let me go That's ahead and good. place that right there. I'm going to put my colored token on it. There you go. And for my three therapy points, I think I'm going to do this one because it's going to go one, two, three. I'll have two left and I can just treat with the top dream layer to get it all the way down to cured. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are now in catharsis. So I can remove this. It scores me the 12 points. Can I have 12 points, please? 12, wow. Okay. So that's 87 to 89, 99. 99. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And then uh, I gain two of the minor green mm -hmm. as part of my reward for the grief layer. Okay. I think that's it. That oh, it. well, no. Now that it's the end of my turn, I now have two insights on mm. the board. So I've completed a location goal. I think it's this one right here, right? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yes, you this three one. It's two one, insights two, on the board. Three. And, and uh, I gained a reputation. Uh oh, next one. So he's gonna move. Yep. And you gain a reputation. Shoot. So the next time somebody gains reputation, that is going to trigger the end of the game. Oh. We're going to finish out the round. I'm Basically, in trouble. everybody gets the same number of turns, and then everybody gets one more turn each. I'm in big so trouble. So we are oh. we are nearing the <laughs> I'm end. I'm in big trouble. We haven't written a treatise. Freud would well, be so hold off a little bit. Take, you know, just do nothing for a little bit. <laughs> for let, the me, let me do it. Psychological society. Me. Man. I'm struggling. Well, it's back to you. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna recall. I have no more ideas. So one, two, three. So I max out on my coffee. Okay. Uh, and then I think I can treat now. So let's just see everything that I have. So okay. uh, requires a fire, yep. requires a bird. This needs to be up. So I'm gonna spend two coffee, one, okay. two, to bring this up. So that's that one. And then I have a second bird and then I have this middle fire. So I have everything to spend. So let me go ahead and spend it. So sure. fire, uh -huh. bird, yeah. middle green, uh -huh. uh, median green. So then uh, the major the purple uh -huh. and then the median uh, red. So nice. that satisfies these two. So um, this is gonna get me five points. Very good. So this brings you to 76. 76, okay. okay. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and go down three hearts, right? Yep. One, two, three. Because we did that, this grief layer does come off. Yeah. Which is nice. So that grief layer comes off. It gets me 11 points. Hey, look at you. So that's 76 to 87. 87. Okay. Um, and then I get a double upgrade of, of things. So... <laughs> So this is going to clear off and I know these are left behind. So I'm just going to go ahead and take one, two for like the double fire, knowing that I need to try to get to these eventually. Cool. Okay. So you're going to have your top dream. Uh, top dream please. goes out. Thank you. 
Now this one, unfortunately, it's only two hearts, but I get three points. So it's going to be, uh, let's see, what are we at? 87 to 90? Yep. And then... Three um, hearts? Uh, I think it was just two hearts, right? Oh, two hearts. You're yeah. right. Oh, I tried to sneak I in an know. extra one. I wanted it. So I hit the one, one, two. So, so you get, get another point. point. Yeah. So there you go. This is going to be a tough one to, to satisfy. Um, yeah. But yep. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You can try to go, now that you have your top dream layer, you can try to go to another area that just gets you the therapy hearts to get your, your uh, client into catharsis. Yeah, right? th that's, that's the plan. That's the goal. You don't goal. have to rely on uh, treating this. So you can find right. those hearts. Here, you can find them in the location uh, actions. So there are other ways. Or yeah. in right there. You have them on your playboard. Uh, that's kind of where I, I try to set it up, yeah. So nice. that I can just do it that way. All right, back to me. I think I might be ending the game uh -huh. because I'm mm -hmm. definitely going to be able to treat my clients. And there's a location goal uh, for the two yeah. research clients. So for my action, I'm going to stack three of these ideas on top just to, just to try and see what kind of uh, newspaper, I guess, clipping I get. So that's going to be three newspapers total. Okay. Can I have three cards, please? Sure. Thank you. And I don't know, I don't think I did this right. <laughs> I never do that right. So thank you. I think I'll hold on to these. I'm not going to swap them out for that one. Uh, I'm going to spend three coffee before I forget down to one so that I can have a, a bright idea, please. Okay. Thank you. And then these are going to be one point at the end of the game. So if you have excess coffee, then you might as well spend them before the game ends, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to treat. So I think I'm going to treat both because I have the resources now. This requires a major green and a median purple. This one requires a major red and a major green. So they're both uh, fully paid for. Okay. So this is going to get me two therapy hearts. So one, two, and three points. Can I have three points, please? So let's go to five. Um, they are now fully cured because of this, uh, this dream. Um, I don't get any bonus points because the grief layer is already gone. So I'm just going to get the seven points now for the client. Okay. And this is a research client. They're going to give me two points at the end of the game for each of those red location symbols. So that's that one. This one is uh, five points for the dream layer. Okay please. And it's going to get me two therapy, one, two. So they are now fully cured. Uh, and that's seven points for the client. And this is going to be two points for each uh, newspaper card that I played. So this is going to go to, is that 24? Mm -hmm. All right. So this, this gets discarded. I guess I could technically, I could technically get another, I guess I have to draft another two clients. So I'm just going to do this quickly. I'll just draft this one because I'm not going to be able to cure them. Mm -hmm. So I'll draft this one. I'll take this dream. And then... Yeah, Monique's essentially ending the game here. I'm ending the game. Uh, I, uh, yeah, we're going to get one more turn each because Naveen started the game. Yeah. It's, so, <laughs> this is not good. There's no, This is not good at all. That Oh, wow. There's so many hearts everywhere. I guess I'll just take this one and I'll take... Uh, well, I guess I guess the strategy is try to take the one with the most hearts, right? For that second position. So I, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just take this one. Mm -hmm. Just because it'll get me two points for even attempting, I guess. So this and this card. Okay. So this patient starts at six and this one at seven. I guess I should have just drafted two sevens, but it's it's too late now. Sure. So two points for this one. One, two. Okay. All right. And this last client will be this person. Okay. So now that it's the end of my turn, I have completely, uh, I have treated two research um, <laughs> clients. Just, so I get the uh, location time. This is time. bad. Hey, why don't you just take them all? So, no. I know I don't uh, get this one. I think you do. No, I only have five. Have you not treated six people? No, because you start the game uh, with one. So okay. if you're treating two at a time. I thought you treated six. No, no. Okay. just Well, that's no. still good though. So this is three points. Right. So one, two, three, and, and the reputation. So this is what ends Freud. the game. So Freud is now on 10, um, which means that is the final round. We get one more turn each. So I apologize if there was a point in the game where I may have cheated on accident. Just I know don't think that you did. We're playing the game according to the rules as they're written now. 
These are technically prototype rules that will probably change at some point in some capacity. Yes, the final copy. From, from what we understand, there's going to be different rules. Yeah. So we are playing according to the current rules as they're written now. Okay. I am going to try to scrape and scrounge for as many points as physically possible. Mm. Okay. I just need to scrounge for some points and uh, found a way to do a little bit. I could oh, not good. treat these people. This, this, is, this is very tough to do. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and place right here. I'm going to spend three coffee, which is a point technically, Okay. Uh, to take this tile here. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to be able to get the thing on the right and then take this action here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a birdie. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm going to turn in that birdie for okay. two reds. One, two, two because this one is going to need that uh, for when I treat. Okay. I'm going to place this one here because that completes this uh, column, which unlocks this, which gets me two points right away. Oh, that's, yeah. That's kind of something. That is something. Yeah. So that goes to 93. Very good. Um, man, you got your two columns quick. Yeah. Yeah. Earlier. I really wanted to do that, but wow. The techniques. Yeah. And then, um, so then now I'm going to be treating and I'm going to only be able to treat this one. I'm going to, I'm going to fall one heart short here. Oh. Unfortunately, this is going to oh, be, that is, yeah, stinky. That's stinky. Super stinky. <laughs> um, so to treat this particular one, it's going to be, uh, a, a big red. Okay. Um, it's going to be then two mediums. So big red and two mediums. Okay. It goes in. Uh, so that's going to be three hearts. One, two, three, which satisfies this. Nice. I have this play button here. Oh, okay. This play button would have been my ability to like, sp I would have been able to spend like coffee oh. or say, don't spend, co like don't go down and then uh, get a heart, which would have gotten me one heart short mm. right here. So another heart is all oh. I needed. This guy needed way too much attention for for me. <laughs> oh. So that's that. That's awful. Unfortunately. So I'm going to go ahead and um and score this one though. So I get 8 points now and then this will be end game scoring. Oh yeah. Right there. That's so, good. Uh I do get to 101 though. That's something. Yeah, definitely. There we go. And then um no, that's all. That's the end. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to take my final turn. And so I'm just going to go here and hold on. Yeah. And along with that, I'm going to spend my bright idea. So this is going to activate this action twice. Okay. Uh, the first activation, I'm just going to play two of my newspaper cards. I think I'm going to play these two. So one will get me two coffee and the other one will let me trade in a coffee for a, te a technique. It, does, it really truly doesn't matter at this point. Uh, and so I don't think I'm going to do it actually because okay. doing so will uh, get me less than three. Mm -hmm. And I want to trade that in now for a bright idea. Okay. Can a bright idea, please? Thank you. And then for my last, uh, my second activation of this, I'm going to write a treatise. Mm. So I'm going to turn in, this is the first time that we're doing this, I'm turning in these two. I guess I might as well turn in all three of these for the for this one, the bottom one. Okay. The bottom treatise. So you basically have to take a certain number of volumes, depending on what it's showing on the treatise itself, and then they are going to go underneath it because it's like you combine them, right? You combine all of your, your newspapers into a book. You wrote a book. But in order to do that, you have to have an available um, uh, one of these insights, your personal <laughs> yeah. insights to place up there. So that score is 10 points. And because I no longer have the these in play, uh, they just get removed. This is my only newspaper that, that I have now. So... I think that's it. I think you did everything in this game. Maybe. I think you did a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Well, wow. I still think I think I still have to move my ink pot because mm -hmm. I'm not going to be treating. I only have two minor drains. Okay. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And the thing that's interesting is because I'm all the way over there, I actually lose a point for doing this. Yeah, you lose a point. I lose a point, but okay, I yeah. gain two because Freud is all the way over there. And then you threshold, I think, gets you a, a treatment heart. Yeah. Which, oh, I guess I, I can't take that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can treat. Yeah, so you know what? I'm just going to take a um, a bright idea. So we're just going to call it even. I didn't gain anything oh, from the I second see. portion yeah. of my turn. 
it doesn't make sense for me to treat when I'm not going to gain any benefit or they are not going to gain any benefit from sure. it either. Mm -hmm. So that's it. I that's think it. that is the end of the game. So we're going to go into some end game scoring. I'm going to ditch this. This is the new saber that I had in my hand okay. and that I don't get to keep. Uh -huh. All right. First things first, we're going to score the reputation track. It's just whoever is furthest ahead gets two points per client they've treated and treatise they've written. Yeah. So um, I get two points for one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's 12. 12, yep. So what's that, 40, 50? Mm -hmm. And then you get one point for yours. Four points total. One, two, three, four. I, I, I couldn't treat much more than that. So there we go. Goes to five. Yeah. Now we're going to count all of our location uh, symbols. And for having unique symbols, you're going to score points depending on this triangular scoring here. Mm -hmm. You cannot score multiple sets. So right. it's just for having one of each type or so. And you cannot also include lo your location uh, where Freud is or your professor. Mm -hmm. So do you want to count yours? Uh, sure. I think I have all of them. So it's uh, both purples, uh -huh. both greens, yep. both reds. So it's going to be 15 points. Yeah. So go to 15 points. I don't think I have all of them because even though this has two green these are both the same location so i have one two three four uh five i don't have the last green yeah, so that's 10 points so 10 points yeah so this goes to 60. one victory point for each bright idea so i get two points for these two yep. so i might as well just turn them in okay and then the last thing is we score our research clients. So our research clients, again, have end game scoring points. Mm -hmm. Do you have? I do. I only have this one, the very last one that I got. Uh, four points per column. So it's eight points total. Okay. So the 20... 128. 28. All right. So I have two of these. Uh, this is going to be two points for uh, newspapers that I have played. Because I turned in these three, these don't count. I only have one now. Mm -hmm. So it's two points. Okay. And then this last one is two points for Oof. every red location symbol. Eesh. So I sort of spammed this a little You're bit. Dead. And I have a few. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So that's 20, 20 points for that Holy end game. Smokes. So 64 to 84. Wow. All right. And I think that's it. I don't Ooh. think there are any more things to score. I think that is the end of the game. <sighs> so ending scores. <laughs> 128, me, to Monique's 184. That was uh, quite a different game from the la definitely the last one that we yeah. played. Uh, you were treating. You were just like, treat, treat, treat. Yeah, I think I just kind of figured from the last game that treating as early as possible, as quickly as possible, and in different ways, right? There are other ways that you can treat besides just turning in your resources. There are other places on the board where you can access uh, therapy hearts. Yeah. That's, that, that, uh, that can be lucrative. Yeah, I found myself in a slog of like not having the right combination of resources at the right time, mm -hmm. overspending on different like ideas, and yeah. then not being able to recall when Freud was there to use him to then get free hearts. Mm -hmm. And then I ran into a buzzsaw of just a ton of hearts on some patients. So uh, yeah, that was that yeah. was that was tough. It's tough. It's yeah. it's one of those games where it's a very cyclical nature. You have one thing that feeds into another, it feeds into another. So you kind of have to do a lot of planning and mm -hmm. kind of see where the combinations can occur. Uh, and every game is different. Mm -hmm. The last game that we played, Naveen, beat me by a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought I was I was treating quickly in that game as well, but we did not push. Uh, Freud up the reputation track as fast, nearly as fast as this time around. Yeah, yeah. Well, as you can see, there's a lot to keep track of in this game, especially with that resource board, trying to move things around, transfer things over, mm -hmm. uh, and making sure you have enough things at the right time. So you did yeah. a very good job today. Thank you. Uh, playing this one. I don't know if we missed anything. Uh, and we were playing according to the current prototype rules, mm -hmm. which again might be changing depending on what happens between now and the release of the final version of the game. But for any information about the campaign, as well as any updates, please feel free to check out the Kickstarter down below, which is linked. Well, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you do have any questions about the game, feel free to leave them in the comments, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. And again, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.